Welcome to the Mastercam 2018 Millessentials video training series tutorial number one. In this tutorial, we will create the 2D CAD model used to generate toolpaths from. We will create the top 2D geometry needed to create the toolpaths. Geometry creation commands such as rectangle, circle center point, and chamfer entities will be used. We will select a machine, set up the stock size, and choose a clamping method. A facing toolpath will be created to machine the top of the part. A circle mill toolpath will remove the material inside of the large hole. A drill toolpath will be created to spot drill four holes. A drilling toolpath will be created to machine the through holes. A contour toolpath with 2D chamfer option will be used to chamfer the top of the part. We will use backplot to simulate a step-by-step -step process of the tool's movements. Verify will be used to watch a tool machine the part out of a solid model. Finally, we will post-process the file to obtain an NC file containing the necessary code for the machine. First, we will create a 2.5 inch by 2.5 inch rectangle. Click on the wireframe tab and select Rectangle. Enter the width as 2.5 inches and the height as 2.5 inches, and press Enter. Make sure Anchor to Center is selected. Then select the origin, or select the arrow next to Auto Cursor and select Origin. Then press OK to exit the command. Next, we will create the quarter inch diameter circles. From the Arcs group, select Circle Center Point. Enter the diameter as 0.25 inches and press Enter. Then click the lock icon to lock the diameter value. Select the fast point icon or press spacebar on your keyboard. Enter the first coordinates as 1, 1 and press Enter. Press the fast point icon again and enter the coordinates as 1, comma, minus 1 and press enter. Fast point icon, minus 1, comma, 1, enter. Click the fast point icon one more time and enter the coordinates as minus 1, comma, minus 1 and press enter. Then press OK to exit the command. Next, we will create a 2 inch circle and a 3 quarter inch diameter circle. Click on Circle Center Point. Click the lock icon to allow you to change the diameter or radius. And enter the diameter as 0.75 inches and press Enter. Select the origin. Then, press OK and create new operation. Enter the diameter as 2 inches and press Enter. Select the origin again. Then, press OK to exit the command. Next, we will create the chamfers. From the Modify group, select Chamfer Entities. Ensure that method is set to one distance and the distance is set to 0.25. Select the first entity here, then select this entity. Repeat the process until all four corners are chamfered. Then press OK to exit the command. Next, save your file. You can do so by clicking the Save icon or pressing Ctrl S on your keyboard. Name your file and click Save. 